race-tastic bikes get race-tastic engines, and the R1S certainly doesn't disappoint. Mechanically, it's the same cross-plane concept mill used by the rest of the range, but with some more of those cost-saving metallurgical efforts that see steel can rods rather than titanium, aluminum covers instead of magnesium and stainless steel exhaust headers as a lower-cost alternative to titanium. The four-cylinder plant runs a 79mm bore and 50.9mm stroke that adds up to 998cc total, and it gives the engine a sizzling hot 13 to 1 compression ratio that'll put you at the expensive pump every time. While the R1S's engine isn't exactly detuned, it does have a longer spool up time due to the increased weight of the can rods. Overall power, however, remains as spicy as ever with 82.9 pound-feet of torque at 11,500 revolutions per minute and a staggering 200 horsepower at 13,500 revolutions per minute, so yeah, it's every bit as capable as its less street-friendly siblings. A ride-by-wire feature controls the engine, or at least, it informs the ECU of your desired power level. That signal is then modified by the power mode, replaces the old D mode, and the traction control features to determine the actual butterfly position. The electronic suite continues with launch control, wheelie control and even slide control, so you get all the goodies you need to handle all that power. In other words, the stock S has just about everything you get on the base R1 except the quick shifter feature. Part of the marketing strategy here revolves around the price. The YCF R1S rolls for $14,999, and that's a significant break from the full-on R1. Let's face it, unless you're actually spending time on the track, the expense of the racing materials really just isn't worth it.